Hi, Dr. Evangelos Milnes at Kinetic Health. Today I have the privilege of working with Julia Harnett. We'll be discussing the muscles on the back of the lower leg, the gastrocnemius and the soleus. Both muscle groups act to plant or flex the foot, to point the foot downwards. The only difference between the two, uh, the primary difference, is that the gastrocnemius actually attaches above the knee joint and down into the Achilles tendon, while the, plant, uh, the soleus is below the knee joint into the Achilles tendon. So they both share a common tendon. Uh, the gastrocnemius will actually help to flex the knee as well uh, when it's not plantar flexing the foot. So, you know, very important muscles, the primary muscles on the back of the leg, giving the shape here and stabilizing the ankle and some of the subtalar joints in the foot. So an effective stretch for the gastrocnemius muscle is in the seated position using the cord as you can see, uh, Julie has it wrapped around her foot, and what she's doing is pulling the foot back. And we're going to incorporate a bit of resistance again, the PNF stretch. So I'll have Julia push into the cord, yeah, and holding that for about 8 seconds. When she releases that and relaxes, she wants to pull the foot back further. So this is really going to effectively stretch the gastro. Now, the soleus muscle is actually deep to the gastrocnemius, and as we mentioned earlier, it doesn't cross the knee joint. So to effectively stretch that muscle, we need to change positions and focus the stretch a little bit differently. So we can take the, uh, the cord away, and we're basically going to have Julia bend the knee, keeping the foot in this position here. Uh, take both your hands, yeah, and just grabbing your foot like that. So we're going to have her push down into her hands for about eight seconds. And then when she releases, she's going to pull the foot back into dorsiflexion. You can actually bring the knee back, adjust with the hip accordingly. You want to make sure that you're feeling the stretch uh, on the back, right through the calves, deep to, to, to the muscles on the surface, quite deep. Yeah, and same idea. And see, you can see every time she's releasing, she's moving the foot back slightly and really making sure she's pulling it back to effectively stretch out the soleus. That's great. That's perfect. Dr. Brian Abelson here at Canadian Health. While we're discussing the gastrocs and soleus, one thing I want to mention is that these are the muscles that make up the Achilles tendon. A lot of runners, dancers, a wide variety of athletes have problems with Achilles tendon. Really important to note that one of the reasons why we have such uh, major issues with this not resolving is because of poor circulation. So one of the things you can do while you're here is actually take your hand and you actually get in there and kind of rub it like this and get in fairly deep. And this actually helps to improve circulatory function to the area. You do this three, four times, and this is going to prevent a lot of injuries. You'll actually notice as you work along here, you might find a little area that's a little bit fibrotic, but it's a great way. So I'll just get Julia to just take her hands in here like this, and just you know really get in there and kind of really roll the tissue back and forth on here. So really, really important. So if you do have Achilles tendon, you gotta make sure you're stretching out the calf muscles, you're stretching out the dorsiflexors on the front here, and really working on strengthening these muscles. So you just have to refer to our, muscles, our videos on basically stretching out the dorsiflexors or the shins and our videos on strengthening the calf muscles. Excellent.